I want to present the first part of my recent book, Einstein's Legacy. I begin the book by offering a unique perspective on Einstein's development of the general theory of relativity, reverse engineering not only his own derivations, but also those of key collaborators, such as Marcel Grossman, whose contributions influenced Einstein's work. I show how Einstein's equations, first introduced in his 1912 Zurich notebook, evolved through his Antwerp papers and ultimately culminated in the 1915 General Theory of Relativity. By tracing the equations from their early forms in the Zurich notebook, through their refinement, in the Antwerp theory, and finally to their re-derivation in the 1915 field equations, I provide a detailed analysis of how Einstein's approach to gravitational theory developed. This journey reveals the subtle changes and improvements Einstein made reflecting his growing mastery of the mathematical tools required for a generally covariant theory of gravitation. The reverse engineering process I employ in my book not only uncovers the development of Einstein's thought, but also offers a window into the iterative nature of scientific discovery. Through this method, I highlight the transformative steps that led from Einstein's early mathematical concepts to the complete formulation of general relativity. I then apply the reverse engineering approach to the derivations of Karl Schwarzschild, Johannes Droz, Hans Freisner, and Gunnar Nordström emphasizing the mathematical ingenuity of these scientists and how their work intertwined with Einstein's theories. By carefully analyzing their solutions to Einstein's field equations, I demonstrate how Nordstrom's approach was influenced by Droz and Reisner was influenced by Schwarzschild. Notably, Schwarzschild maintained Einstein's unimodular condition, G equal one, while Droz explicitly abandoned it. Yet both arrived at the same solution by employing different mathematical techniques. I then highlight how each of these scientists, through their own mathematical tricks, contributed to advancing the field of general relativity. I emphasize that these tricks are not merely shortcuts, but reflect deep mathematical insight and ingenuity, a hallmark of Einstein's own methods. This analysis underscores Einstein's profound mathematical innovation, demonstrating how his ability to manipulate complex equations was essential in the development of general relativity and in influencing those around him. By reverse engineering these derivations, I demonstrate how Einstein's mathematical methods, particularly those from his 1916 and 1918 gravitational wave papers and his general theory of relativity, were not only central to his own groundbreaking work, but also had a lasting influence on his contemporaries. For instance, Theory and Lenz's 1918 work on the effects of rotation in general relativity was a significant advancement laying the groundwork for the care solution 
decades before its eventual discovery. At that time, the Schwarzschild solution was the only available model, so Faring and Lenser relied heavily on Einstein's approximation techniques from his gravitational wave papers. These methods enabled them to derive results like the frame dragging effect without needing a complete solution for rotating bodies. I show that the sophisticated tools developed for gravitational wave research, which emerged after Einstein's death, ultimately laid the foundation for care to develop the care metric nearly 50 years later. The irony here is striking. As the mathematical tools developed for gravitational wave research, which advanced solutions to general relativity ultimately paved the way for care to formulate the care metric nearly 50 years later. Thank you for watching this presentation. Feel free to ask questions or share your thoughts in the comments.